Greetings everyone, in this video I have prepared a demo software to demonstrate you how to achieve synchronization and preventing data race by using Semaphore Slim when doing fully multi-threaded asynchronous programming by using async and await keywords. I am also going to compare Semaphore Slim with Mutex and Reader Write, Writer Lock Slim so you will understand the difference between them. This demo software is prepared by using .NET Core 7 and WPF application. So let me introduce you the concept we are going to have we are defining a two stream writer to log the errors and log the numbers that our methods are going to uh, generate so we have a public main window let me show you the uh, interface of the application it is pretty simple semaphore slim example reader write, reader writer lock slim example mutex example okay uh, so in the constructor of the main window i am setting auto flush true for both of the stream writers, I have defined it uh, as private static read only semaphore slim object, uh, reader writer lock slim object, and mutex object, object as you can see. So the semaphore uh, slim is requiring initial count and max count. Uh, since I want only one thread at a time to enter the method, I am setting both of them as one in semaphore slim initialization. Uh, for reader, reader writer lock slim uh, it is just default and for mutex i am setting as false so not, none of the threads are starting with owning of the mutex and i have an enum uh, to uh, make our testing easier uh, so according to which one we want to test we are setting the enum as mutex uh, semaphore slim and reader writer lock slim so when we click uh, each of the buttons, uh, as you can see on the interface, it is just going to uh, set the enum and then call the task run method. So all of the methods will run in the subtasks. None of them will run in the main thread, as you can see. This is a so simple uh, code. So setting the enum uh, like here, like here and like here, then just starting the start task method. So start task method start task method is pretty uh, simple uh, in a for loop we are starting 10 tasks and saving them inside a list like this then uh, we are doing task wait all and once all of the tasks are completed we are going to flush the stream writer so we will be able to see the full logs and then we are just printing on the screen message box show all done now inside this for loop we are assigning a, a local variable like this. Why? Because when you check the code, you see we are running an asynchronous task and uh, it is also starting a task. When this task is started, this i variable is being already changed because for loop is not waiting for this task to start. Therefore, you have to assign uh, this i variable into a local variable otherwise all of the i variable will be the latest i variable in this uh, for loop and you won't get what you want let me uh, demonstrate it actually so uh, if i don't set it into a local variable and if i just use i let me show you what kind of results we are going to get Okay, let's open the text file. So you see, all of the numbers are beginning with 11,000. I will explain why. Don't worry about that. Because the i is being uh, 11, uh, 11 in all of the cases. So let's just return back. So this is for ensuring uh, the no data race is happening in this for loop. And when the task is starting so we are starting an asynchronous uh, task in uh, in here and we are awaiting uh, this task actually we should also set this as configure await false so the configure await false means that this task will run can run in a subtask uh, since this is inside the task it is just fine but just uh, get used to use this configure await false now let's check out the start write method inside start write method we are we have another for loop and inside this for loop you see an await 
write to file uh, method call this is also an asynchronous task as you can see and we are setting configure await false so this task will also run in a subtask uh, if it is uh, good and we are uh, sending we are taking a parameter here as counter and we are sending that counter plus i okay as you can see so we have two uh, long uh, variables here i will show you why did i set them uh, to demonstrate how exactly uh, the locking works when you are doing multi-threaded asynchronous programming okay inside task write to file method now this is where we are doing the synchronization uh, and i did set uh, try and catch in uh, all of them to demonstrate you how mutex or reader writer lock slim is not working when you are working with async and await keywords in a multi-threaded environment so first of all we are incrementing method call counter because method calls will happen immediately however in this uh, next statement according to the selecting selected synchronization method we are locking our mutex object with weight one we are locking our lock semaphore slim object with weight or we are locking lock reader like uh, lock reader writer lock slim with enter right lock so when we check the description it says that blocks the current thread until the current vent handle receives a signal uh, for mutex for lock semaphore slim it says that blocks the current thread until it can enter the semaphore slim you see almost same description however this has a lot of exceptions and this one also only have one exception and then we check the enter writer lock it says tries to enter the lock in the right mode okay so once the locking uh, once the, these objects are obtained at the lock it will move to the this line and inside this line i am incrementing method entered counter by one so you see i am using interlocked actually it is not necessary to use interlocked here because if we are properly locking then only one thread at a time will enter here but in here multiple threads can enter because we still didn't lock therefore interlocked is ensuring the thread safety of increment of this uh, variable and inside here i am uh, i am uh, logging into the console of the uh, debug console method call counter interlocked read method call uh, method call counter and method entered counter why these two variables will be different because whenever a call happen to this method this line will be executed however this line will execute it only if the lock is happened therefore there will be a difference between these counters and uh, of course after all of them have been uh, completed executed uh, this will also become zero why because in the finally i am just decreasing each of the variables by one okay then in here i have await task delay uh, to put some delay into this method uh, like it is downloading a file from internet or or doing um, a database call and in here i am writing this number uh, into our text file and if an error happens i am just logging uh, this error into debug right line to see it uh, you see uh, this there shouldn't be any error in here why because we are ensuring the thread synchronization with locking this method for only one thread at a time and uh, in the also we are using finally method why because if an error happens for somehow we need to release the lock and in the finally we are just releasing mutex and we are releasing semaphore slim and we are releasing lock reader uh, lock uh, reader writer lock slim with exit read lock release and release mutex and in here we are just decreasing uh, the each of the variable also 
you see i have put all of them inside a big try catch to show you what kind of errors we are going to get when we use mutex or reader writer lock slim uh, this was a problem that i wanted to solve uh, because in the uh, lecture that i uh, teach in the school uh, we have coded a multi-threaded uh, web crawler and it was really hard to uh, achieve synchronization uh, when we are using async and await keyboards uh, in a fully multi-threaded environment uh, therefore i have done a lot of research and i have come to the conclusion that uh, semaphore slim is the only way is the best i i think it's, it is also the only way to ensure synchronization when you are doing uh, multi-threaded uh, async and await keywords using uh, asynchronous programming so let's start and uh, let me explain to you how this is working in the output window you see we are seeing method call counter and method entered counter which means that there are always eight uh, actually nine uh, thread calls are waiting to enter inside write to file method once all of the uh, currently waiting methods are executed this will also become to zero so it will take uh, 100 seconds why we have uh, we have uh, 100 milliseconds delay in here and we are doing a loop of 100 and actually there will be 10 threads therefore uh, we also need to multiply this b with by 10 okay all done actually i reduced it to 10 milliseconds delay and you see in the end ending method call counter is uh, reducing by one and it is becoming equal like here why because the evading tasks to uh, acquire the lock and enter inside this write to file method is uh, getting their chance to enter as the other tasks are finished and in the final uh, request they are getting executed so what happened in here is all of the awaiting other uh, thread calls are getting into waiting where and when the lock is uh, available their execution from this line of code continues so when we check the description of semaphore slim wait it says that blocks the current thread until it can enter the semaphore slim so they are ge ge getting into this line executing this line of code and inside exactly here they are just waiting they are just waiting this uh, lock semaphore slim object to be released and once it is free they continue their execution from this line of code so let's check out the entire output uh, it starts uh, with uh, one two three uh, up to ten thousand and let's check out all of the results okay as you can see so we have exactly one thousand line of code and each one of them is ending at 99 hundred person working correctly as we have expected from the code it's a pretty simple demo actually uh when you are reading it you will understand it now let's try the other uh, synchronization methods and see if they are working or not i will just restart the application okay and then just let's first try reader writer lock slim example when i click the reader writer lock slim example i am seeing a lot of exception thrones in the uh, bottom in the output window can we zoom in here okay we are not able to zoom in here but we will see them in the uh, error logs okay so you see in the numbers we only have single number and then we have got errors the error message is error method reader writer lock slim recursive write lock acquisitions not allowed in this mode however actually we want to only one thread to enter uh inside the 
method and if we allow recursive recursive write lock acquisitions then it won't happen uh, therefore uh, reader rider lock stream reader rider lock stream is uh, not suitable to use in a multi-threaded and async await uh, methodology using uh, programming so it fails let's also try to mutex and see if it will work for us mutex example okay and we are seeing method call counter 12 and method enter counter 3 so it is actually failing right now because method enter should be only one at a time and let's check out the errors okay we have got error object synchronization method was called from an unsynchronized block of code as you can see so mutex also didn't uh, work out well in our case it didn't behave as we have expected and let's check out the uh, results the weight completed duet and abandoned mutex object synchronization method was called from an unsynchronized block of code and let's check out the numbers okay in the numbers window actually we are only seeing oh we are seeing very few of the tasks so far and when the, all of it, all of it is completed i wonder if we see all probably we will not okay you see it is still not completed uh, because a lot of errors are happening i am seeing errors method call counter is 16 and method entered counter is 5 definitely incorrect let me some let me show you the messages in here okay so you see method call counter is 16 and method entered counter is 5 actually this should be 9 or 10 and this should be only one because we want only one of the thread to enter uh, inside our method call and we are not able to get it and it is still even not completed yet okay it has been completed but it took like 100 times more duration maybe more and you see we don't we didn't get um, 1000 results as expected because we have a lot of errors as you can see when we use mutex uh, therefore uh, mutex is not the uh, correct choice for you so i suggest you to use uh, uh, semaphore slim uh, to ensure synchronization and prevent data race when you are doing multi-threaded programming uh, and uh, using async and await keywords i hope you i hope you have enjoyed uh, please like subscribe and join if possible to our channel you can go to our about top of our channel and you can click the official discord and it will from that you can join our discord channel and ask me any questions you want uh, if you are generous and support me on patreon i would appreciate that very much so far we have 11 patrons and i am thanking them very much um, so you see i also have different kind of videos not only c -sharp programming but everything is about technology so uh, I am sure that you will find very useful videos for yourself in our channel uh, and I am also I also just uh, generated a new uh, playlist for C -sharp .net core programming tips quiz and best practices leave a comment and tell me what you want to see next uh, hopefully see you in another video